Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So today we are going to talk about a common issue which you might have faced earlier or you might face uh, when you're working with Tosca. And that is um, when you make a mistake while working in a project which uh, is a multi-user workspace and you are working in a team. Now, think that uh, by mistake, you deleted a particular object, which might be a test case, uh, which might be a module, or um, which might be an execution list or any object uh, within Tosca, right? Which was already present in the project. And then you mistakenly uh, deleted that particular object. Now, you would think that there is no way to recover that particular object in your Tosca project, but uh, that's not true, okay? Uh, especially not true if your project has got versioning enabled. So let's see how this particular uh, issue could be resolved. Um, even though it looks uh, improbable, it is actually possible to recover a deleted object in Tosca. So um, I am currently in a multi-user workspace, okay? And uh, I will show you this particular example or demo on this particular folder, which is the project folder, which I've created with some test cases uh, and some test steps inside this. Right? So this is the folder where we are working. Now, before moving forward, we need to first make sure that versioning is enabled for this particular workspace or project. Okay, And that you can do uh, by going into the uh, menu bar, there you will find a tab uh, which is versioning, right? And here you will see there are uh, three options, uh, view change history for project, view recovered and lost objects, and manage versioning, okay? So if you click on manage versioning, uh, you will see that versioning is enabled, okay? I can also enable this, delete this day and older, I can choose a particular day and uh, beyond this, it will try to remove everything, okay? Or delete this revision and older. So I can put a version number here and beyond this, it is going to, uh, or below this, it is going to remove all the other versions. Now, if I want, I can also disable the versioning. Um, it will say that disabling the version permanently deletes the so entire version history and it will ask you to confirm or cancel, okay? So mostly I would not recommend to disable the version unless you have got space constraints because if we enable the versioning, then um, your workspace size is going to increase because um, it is always going to maintain a particular number of versions for your every object in the workspace. So if you've got a huge workspace, and then you have enabled versioning, then um, it will uh, consume a lot of space. But uh, versioning is um, recommended and also important because of these kind of scenarios where um, you need uh, some backup for all of your objects, right? So if by mistake um, you lose some object, or your workspace gets corrupted and uh, you are not able to save or check in your objects, right? In those kind of scenarios, versioning uh, may be helpful, okay? So um, this is about manage versioning. Uh, I can also see view recovered and uh, lost objects, okay? So it will show you uh, which objects were lost, right? If I search, Right now, I cannot see um, any lost objects in my workspace. And then um, I can also see the change history for the complete project, okay? So the, here you can see the change history for the complete project. These are all the versions you can see here. And when you click on a version, it will tell you what was done. Okay, so this particular demo folder uh, one object was updated, right, in this folder. Then in this test case, one object was deleted. And then in this test case, one object was added. Okay, this is how it shows you 
all the different versions and uh, what was done in that particular version. Also the unique ID uh, through which you can search it. Okay, so this is for the whole project. Now coming to our particular scenario, right? So here we have got uh, the project folder. So we will go out and check out the tree here. And then uh, by mistake, uh, we actually deleted uh, the test case three, okay? Now there could be several reasons you thought it is not needed. Uh, you thought you would create a new uh, test case or due to any reason, you just deleted this particular test case. And then you also performed a check-in all. So which makes sure that all the changes are checked in, right? Which are not uh, reversible anyways, because there is no option to reverse your changes or uh, to recover that particular test case directly. Okay, so there is no direct option like that in Tosca. And then most people think that once a object is deleted in Tosca, it is not possible to recover, right? So what they do, they try and recreate all the objects which uh, were removed by mistake, but that's not correct, okay? So now, what we will do here, uh, we will check out the whole project, okay? And now uh, we will also, let's add another test case here, uh, which is called TC4, not TC3, uh, which I deleted. And then I'm going to check in all. Now, how can I recover the lost object? So, uh, right click on the project, okay? Uh, which is the test case folder. And then you will find a versioning uh, in the menu. Okay, so this is the option, versioning option. And there are three options, view change history, uh, view change history for tree, or uh, export subset for revision. So either we can view the change history for the individual object, or we can uh, view the change history for the tree, which means it will show the change history not only for the folder, but also for all the objects which are contained inside that folder because we are looking at the tree. So now, if I look at the version history for this particular tree, right? You will see there are two versions, okay? So one is 30, okay? So here, what it is showing me, zero objects updated, right? Uh, zero objects were added and four objects were deleted. Right. And if you notice, this is the test case three, which we deleted by mistake. And then here one object updated, right? In the project folder. Then um, if I go into this, the last version, which is 26. In this, you will see uh, one object added, then the test case one, test case two and test case three, right? So, whenever you are trying to recover uh, any particular object uh, and you're looking at the uh, change history, you always need to uh, choose the option or you always need to look at the revision number uh, prior to uh, the number which uh, shows that you have deleted that particular object, which is, for our case, it is 30 here, right? But uh, we need to use the revision number 26 so that we can recover the earlier version of this tree or this particular uh, test cases. So it, what it will do, it will recover test case three, which is not present in our folder. So uh, you cannot directly do this from here. So uh, let's close this option and let's come back here. Now, um, here there were three options, right? So now what we'll do, we have to export subset for a particular revision. So we will choose this option here. And now it will ask you to select a revision, which is between one to 30, okay? So we are going to choose a revision, which is 26, right? So uh, what we will do here, uh, we will click on okay. And then it will ask you to, save this particular subset. Now it is just like uh, import and export subset, uh, which we have used multiple times to import and export different objects. But 
this particular option is made to export a particular revision, right? So which is a version saved in Tosca, and then you create a export subset out of it, right? So I'm going to call this TC3 uh, dot TSU, which is the Tosca subset, and click on save. Okay, once uh, this message comes, which is export subset for revision finished, which means it was uh, exported. Now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to check out all. Now, once uh, you have successfully exported your revision, now we need to import that particular subset, right, which we created. Now, uh, when I click on this folder, you will see that import subset is not enabled. Now, this is correct because when you import a subset, a uh, number of different objects are used, right? It could be in modules folder, it could be in execution folder. So the best way uh, to enable the import subset option is to also check out the project, right? Because um, Tosca will need uh, to merge different objects, okay? Once you do that, you will see the import subset option is enabled again, right? So whenever you find import subset not enabled, you can do this. Now uh, we will select our project folder and we will import subset. Uh, we will select the subset which we created. Now um, it will tell you one mergeable objects found and this is probably the module which I used which was a standard module which is already present. Okay so you can choose either options. Uh, if you choose the import option it will uh, again create a different folder out of it. Um, but if you want to merge the existing objects, that's fine. You can do that. Okay. So I uh, will choose that option, which is to merge that particular object. Now, the only problem here uh, is it anyways creates a new folder, uh, which is the test case import. And uh, it imports everything. Okay. Uh, instead of the test case three, which is not ideal. Um, it should have merged everything into the same folder, but it doesn't do that. Okay, so in these kind of cases, um, obviously what we need to do is we will take the required object from here and then we will paste it here. So now we have recovered the test case three. So now what uh, you can do is if you don't require um, these test cases, which are kind of a duplicate, right, which was imported, uh, what you can simply do is you can go ahead and delete all these objects which are not required, okay? And then you you can bring your workspace to the exact state which was previous uh, to when you created the test case four, which is the test case three, which was removed by mistake and which is now been recovered, okay? So now I can check in all and now I have got all my objects uh, without recreating that object. I used uh, the versioning uh, to get a different version of uh, a test case which was removed earlier, but it could be recovered using that particular version. Okay, so versioning is quite powerful. If that feature is enabled for your project, you can recover um, any version of a particular object, which is either lost or uh, if you worked to get a version of your previous change also. Um, so which means you want to revert your change, you can do it this way. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.